the first death. The first death is guaranteed to all of us, unless we hear a trumpet sound. But we know something a lot of people don't know. We know that there's a resurrection. Yes. We know that we're going to meet the Lord in the, in the clouds, in the air. Yeah. We know that He's going to give us our, our reward. Yeah. Yeah. And we know that He loves us. Yes. He loves us more than anybody else has loved us. He's more than our parents. Because yes. yeah. haven't you got mad at your kids say, I want to have kids? Well, Satan never told us. I mean, uh, God has never told us. But Jesus has never told us He wanted to have kids because He could. Some things we have done, you know, but yet and still, he's been in us. He's been guiding us. And what I love about him, he guides your life. Yeah. He directs your path to him. You can get off the train if you want to, as the brothers say. Get off the train if you want to. You better stay on that train. Yeah. Yeah. Take it all the way yeah. to his kingdom. Oh, yeah. Don't get off. Yeah. Don't get off to eat no chicken or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> stay on that train. Don't get off eating no barbecue, beef ribs, or lamb. Yeah. Stay on the train. Because yeah, right. yeah. Satan's going to try to detour you. Take, get off this way. Go this way for a while. No, stay on it. Yeah. Stay on the path. Yeah. Yeah. You know, follow the light. Yeah. Because we don't know when our light, we ain't going to be able to see it. Right. But we know one thing, when we wake up, we're going to see him. Right. Yeah. At first, John said we're going to be light. Right. We'll have that beautiful body that he had. It's worth going through all this, ain't it? Yes. If you can get that, it's worth it. Yeah. It's worth coming miles to, to, to get to a church to hear the word. Right. You know, people say, well, I wouldn't go all the way there. I live in Richmond Park. It's a good 30, 40 miles from here. But I tell you what, it's worth getting here. And God get me here and get me home. No matter what the snow is, no matter what storm it is, God get me here and get me home. And when I leave here, I feel good. I feel good when I get here. And there's no entertainer can give you that pleasure than the Word of God. Mm -hmm. I don't care who teaches. Mm -hmm. And people think Satan comes right in the church. Mm -hmm. Say things to people that upset. Mm -hmm. You don't pay him no attention. Mm -hmm. Just know that it's Satan talking to you sometimes. Mm -hmm. He just he keeps you on guard like Peter told uh, Jesus. You know. And Peter he, the quote he quoted uh, he said, "Get thee behind me, Satan." He said, "I know you talk to the Satan to him." You can talk to people. You get in your mind. Because your mind is open. We imaginate things. That, you know, your imagination. Say you can get in there. And, and make you think you see things. Oh, he's good. He's carnal. <laughs> he's been doing it for years. You know, and he's not going to stop. Until Jesus bound him a thousand years. Then he's still going to let him loose for a little while. To, to, uh, uh, to, uh, tempt those people in a thousand years. He's going to be, at the end of a thousand years, he's going to come out that pit and still ain't going to do what's right. He still ain't going to be right. He's going to go after the saints of God. Oh, I've been in the Revelation. Satan ain't going to stop until he's in the lake of fire. And he knows, he, and the scripture says, he, and I can't go into all that, but he knows he has a uh, not a long time, a little season left. Yeah. And he's going to try to take as many people as he can to make a fire. Mm -hmm. And you know what Jesus got you? Mm -hmm. What we're here for yeah. is to save as many people as we can. Yeah. And all that to say is plant the seed. Yes. Tell them who God is. Tell them who the Son is. Yes. Whatever name you call him back. Yeah. I call him back Jesus. Other people call him Yeshua. Whatever you call him back. He got many names. Mm -hmm. Call what works for you. Yeah. See. Call what what work, work for you. I know it worked for me, what works for me, but it, he came in many languages. But I tell you one thing, we all believe. All right. <laughs> we tell you to believe. Whatever you, you know, if a person that believes got a sure shot of getting God key if you believe, tell you to believe. That was my last lesson was about believing. And what we're going through. It's, we show ourselves approved. We, we're doing the things he said to. The fact that people came from far away to hear God's word is the fact that you believe. You wouldn't come here to believe. I go from here to, to China to hear the word of God. You know, if he can send me there. Even if I didn't want to go, but if he sent me there to save some lives, I would go. As bad as I don't like Africa, I go to Africa. 
he went dangerous. It's God sent him here. Because I'm going to take him with me. Okay. You go anywhere the Lord sent you. But I just want to read one thing. I want to read the end of Satan. Revelation 20 chapter. Revelation 20. Verse 20. Verse 20. Verse 20. Verse 20. Verse 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. Now here's an angel come down from heaven. He's coming down here where? The earth. Where Satan is. Go ahead. And he laid hold on that on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. Mm -hmm. And cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up, and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years shall be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loosed a little season. Now drop down to the ninth verse. And they went up on the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints about and the beloved city. And fire came down from God out of, the, out of heaven and devoured them. These are the nations that were with saints going to him. Mm -hmm. God is not playing. This is the end. This is his time. Yes, Lord. And do you know when he do come back here to earth, we're going to be with him. We're not going to be sitting in the mansions up there. We coming with him with the saints going to Zachary. Right. Yes. Yes. We coming with him. Yes. Because you're going to be riding your horse. Yes. Yes. Mom will have a white horse. I don't know what kind of horse y'all have. I'm going to have the kind of horse Jesus has. Go ahead. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. The devil is going to be put in the lake of fire. Not hell. His grave is called hell sometimes. But the lake of fire. Because he deceived the whole world. I didn't get a chance to get into all that. But we have a thing called memory. Satan always always reminded us of what we've done. He always, because people bring up I remember what I did to remember I did that. Jesus tell you, forget about that stuff. Yeah. Put it behind you. Yeah. But when he reminded you, and I'll say like I always said before, remind him of his future. What's going to happen to him? Right. Yeah. You're going into the lake of fire. Yes. You know, and, and when, when the devil talks to somebody, tell him that. Say, you know what your, your future. You know my history, but I know your future. See, I got something on you. You think you know me? I know you too. And don't be afraid of him. Because when you see him one day, you're going to say, is this the man that raised all this sand, that raised all this hell, that killed all these people? And he's going to look so pitiful. And you just say, mm-hmm, that's him. And move on. Move on to God's kingdom. I want to thank you. God bless you. Keep your, your uh, arm on at all times. Give it to your children. Tell them about the arm. Give it to your relatives. Wherever you can plant the seed of God, plant it. Yes. And water it if you can. Thank you. Amen. Well, hallelujah, everybody. Hallelujah. That's a good word to know who your enemy is. Yes. And it's good to be on accord, uh, in accord with the word of, of the Bible. And uh, as some might say, the Torah. But we, in turn, uh, use different names in different ways. But one thing we do know, that it is somebody bigger than we are. Amen. And he's above, not beneath. Uh, and we're building our hopes on things eternal. And we are holding on to almighty, eternal, everlasting God, Yahweh. Hey, aren't we? Yes. But you know, I, I, I don't want to be a go behind, but this is the Sabbath, and some people keep the Sabbath all day. But I, I just praise the Lord and thank uh, Yahweh and Yahshua. I use the word 
uh, when I'm in the midst of people that believe that way. And I believe that way too. But he has many names. And I recognize everybody. Like they were talking about Muhammad Ali. Uh, did any of you see his uh, uh, thing yesterday? A different one talked about how he was and what he withstood. How he stood on what he believed in. And that's what we have to do, saints. Uh, you know, all, all, all Muslims are not bad. They got their God and they got their belief. But there's some good ones there. Who saw at his funeral too? You know, and and and, and God had uh, uh, people all over the world, and, and we know in parts, and we see in parts. But when he when he comes, in parts got to go. Amen. I don't care what you believe, what you've been believing. If you don't believe in him and obey him. You're not going to come forth in that first resurrection. Let's put it there. But you won't enjoy that time. Say you're going to be bound a thousand years. And you're going to be living and ruling with Yahweh and Yahshua. Of course, Yahshua is going to be ruling then. Yes, and he's going to bring that kingdom down. I don't know if it's right then or later. But I think all that pollution is going to be off the earth when he does bring it down. That new Jerusalem. What do you think about that, Brother John? <laughs> All right. That's due order. That's due yeah, order. He does everything decently and in order. And, and I just want to uh, thank uh, Yahweh and Yahshua for Sister Salome Micaiah's wife. And uh, I think she's doing a beautiful job of carrying on. Hallelujah. And, and I'll tell you one thing, perhaps. I know Sister uh, uh, Shara. Shara. I know she knows because she's been with her a long time. Yes. And but Sister Shalomo was with us before they decided. And it's in the book obituary to open up their own place. See, God leads different people in different directions. And and, and we sing that song where He lead me, I'll follow. And sometimes we say, Lord. I know you ain't told me to do nothing like that. 